what does effort versus ability mean, okay? So a lot of people work hard to accomplish whatever dream that they have, right? If you want to become a doctor, if you want to become a nurse, then you try your best to do what? To study and pass the test, right? But let's say that you studied really hard, but you failed the test. And you study another year, another year, another year, and three years later, you're still failing the test. Then what should you think to yourself? Should I keep studying? Okay, study some more then. Four years, five years, six years have passed. What do you do now? Still study? Okay, seven years. When are you going to stop studying? Until you pass the test? You may be too old then. You have to accept the fact that you can't pass the test. Is that sad? That's reality. Sometimes reality can be sad. <laughs> but you have to understand your inability, right? But in anatomy, what are the things that limit you to success? What are the things in network marketing that limit your success? Okay? So in network marketing, the things that limit your success can be answered very easily. Okay? So the first one, inability to recruit members, right? Not being able to prospect. Prospecting, no good. So if you can't recruit members, your downline will never, never increase, right? So of course, if you cannot recruit people, your downline will never increase. Another one, you have to be a good at sales. So if you are not good at sales, then what's going to happen? Are you going to be able to move the product? So now you can't recruit people or move product. You're just a lost cause, right? Maybe this business isn't for you is what you think. Next, you have to be a charismatic, persuasive individual. If you're always sad and down and, oh, you know, you know, I'm doing something called anatomy, but maybe you should give it a try. They're like, are you okay? <laughs> Did anatomy turn you like that? <laughs> you know? But if you're energetic and you're like, you won't believe the fun and excitement I'm having with this new business I have. They're like, oh, what is it? Isn't there a difference? Yes. yes, of course. So if you're not that kind of person, your personality is not like that, then you fail again. <laughs> There's so many things that fail. So you have to encompass all these leadership skills to build a downline. Have you ever seen a successful person in other MLMs who just look misfit. They're like, how did that person get up on that stage? I've never been to an MLM conference where I looked at the top leaders and thought to myself, he doesn't belong there. Everybody up there looks like they belong there. They all look like actors and actresses with their beautiful dresses and tuxedos, driving their fancy cars. Wouldn't you agree? But when I went to Atomy, I was very confused because the leaders I saw on stage did not look like they belonged on stage. They just looked like my grandma and grandpa. <laughs> and when they were lecturing, they were stuttering, stuttering, and not able to speak eloquently. And I thought, how did that person become successful and how are they making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. It's, I couldn't comprehend it. Can you comprehend that? That makes no logical sense. Because business doesn't work that way. But in anatomy, there's something special. And when I saw that, I was encouraged. Why? Because I thought to myself, if they can do it, I can do it. If they can do it, what? Why can't you do it? You can. Why? Because Atomy has a very unique system. 
of effort and ability. If you lack these abilities, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because once you register somebody in your downline, and that individual, and that individual, somebody within your group, within your family group, within your friend group, will see the vision that Atomy can provide them. Because it's not your responsibility to do the lecture. You can invite them where? Here. And when they see that they can also do Atomy, then they will be the ones actively going to the seminars with you, building the downline with you, calling their friends in different countries, and leveraging their ability. But in Atomy, if this person does well, automatically 100% of their efforts, their PV, becomes whose? Yours. So even if you are not good at selling, if somebody in your downline is able to move products, then it is just like you moved it. It is just the same. If you cannot speak and lecture professionally or do not have the ability to persuade, does it matter? No, because it's inevitable that somebody in your downline will have the necessary skills and abilities to do those things with you. Atomy made this company because they wanted to help the average individual who was struggling in life but was willing but were willing to put in the hard work to bring people and share the products with individuals there is no such thing as free success right success doesn't come free but in this business there are very very few things that we require from you we require that you a try the products and choose to consume the products that you feel benefit you we never say buy all of it you must use all of it do we say that the ceo of park say that no he says to buy and use products that you feel benefit you but in other network marketing companies, what do they have? They have auto ship. They have starter packages. They force you to continue to consume items for the hope of making money. For the what? For the hope of making money. 